Life. What is life? Why are we so obsessed with these four letters? Is it our wish for a long life? Successful aging. The opportunity to care for people who are dear to us. Life is unique. The fact is that life is the very basis for almost everything we create around us, whether it be aquaculture, fisheries, agriculture, the processing industry, or the health sector. It's an understanding of life that enables us to transform our knowledge into profits. Researchers the world over have continually tried to understand what life is, how it began and how it develops. Life was the basis for antibiotics, and even Norwegian oil wealth is based on life. Ancient life forms have been turned into bio-based products and services. If we are to find oil, we have to first find out how it came into existence. At the University of Oslo, we cultivate knowledge because we know that more knowledge provides the more and better solutions. To solve the world's increasingly more complex challenges, we need to deploy our collective knowledge to the utmost, the sum of our knowledge. If we rewind to an earlier time, to the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, we find that intellectuals immerse themselves in many disciplines and made tremendous discoveries. Their advantage was that they could apply specialized knowledge and solutions from several fields of knowledge to arrive at discoveries and innovations through combinations of several disciplines. If we fast forward again to the present day, we find science to be increasingly more specialized. Today, specialization is so extensive in the disciplines that scientists simply have to specialize. This has resulted in amazing advances in knowledge, but with so much knowledge available, one scientist cannot be world leading in several disciplines, like Leonardo da Vinci was, for example. Instead, in the modern age, we need to see to it that specialists from different disciplines and scientific fields can connect together the best from all the disciplines. A good example of this is found in the Oslo area, where world-class Norwegian researchers are working to find a cure for cancer. Immunotherapy is currently one of the hottest areas in the pharmaceutical industry. Major financial institutions such as Citigroup estimate that the market for anti-cancer immunotherapy may grow to $35 billion in 2023 and that these medicines will be used in 60% of all cancer treatment regimes. Another example of interdisciplinary research on life at the University of Oslo is Algeta, one of the greatest successes in pharmaceutical research and development in Norway in modern times. The company was sold to the German Bayer Group for 17.6 billion Norwegian kroner in 2013 and has created 160 new jobs in Norway alone. In 2014, the Norwegian salmon Sally, the first of her kind in the world, had all her genetic material mapped. The results of this project are very important for aquaculture in Norway and the rest of the world. In only one year, the Norwegian salmon industry boosted its economic growth by 2.6 billion Norwegian kroner as a result of this Norwegian research project. Tomorrow's challenges require new means by which to meet them. That is why we are currently building a powerhouse for future research in Norway. A powerhouse in which researchers from various disciplines can work together and address challenges from completely new angles. We know that 1 plus 1 can equal at least 3, provided the right conditions are in place. Our goal is to create a knowledge accelerator, a catalyst for progress, innovation and value creation. For you and for society in general, and with ripple effects stretching far beyond Norway's national boundaries. We call this life science, and it's the largest academic initiative ever undertaken at the University of Oslo.